Hey, hey, David, what was the key for you to this, your second half? I mean, you, I think you had two points at, at halftime and then kind of had your way the second half. What was what was the adjustment or, or what did you do differently? Um, I have to have a short-term memory as an athlete, honestly. Um, take what you can from the first half, apply it to the second half, and then I had nothing but encouragement and positivity from my teammates and coaching staff. So I just applied all of that forward and came out great. Was there a concerted effort to get you the ball? It looked like that early on and then throughout the game. Definitely. Um, starting out second half, I think coach uh, drew up something for me to get a touch and just uh, kind of get my groove and get in the flow of the second half. So I think that's what really uh, started it all off. Hey, David, do you feel like you've made bigger strides this year, passing the ball or defending? Mm. Uh, I think I said, I'm, I would say passing the ball. Uh, uh, finding guards more on back doors, back cuts, or passing out of the post. I think I've definitely improved on this year. Yeah, and, and you had one of those kind of high-low passes to Jalen. What did you see on that one, if you remember it? Uh, I forgot who threw it to me. I want to say Marcus. Uh, oh, no, I think it was Ochai, but passed it to me up top, and I just kind of you know, surveyed the court, and I saw Jalen had someone still behind him, so I just threw a quick lob pass, and it was, a, it was honestly an easy call. He was wide open. What did you feel like you did well defensively tonight? Uh, knowing the scouting report, I know likely I uh, wasn't a big shooter. So when they went small, I can help off. Um, knowing how uh, Kate kind of wanted us to get into a flow. So we made sure we pressured the ball screens. Uh, same thing with Moncrief helping off, just kind of uh, helping on all drives uh, and being kind of a, a paint presence today. Did coach tell you anything after the game? Uh, way to bounce back, way to have the right mentality um, to fix what I needed to do or fix what I needed to do in the uh, second half. Dave, how much was defense prioritized these last couple of days? Uh, it was a uh, major key. You know, uh, the team, to, uh, we talked amongst ourselves and just saying we have to really lock in defensively and uh, make that our, our, uh, our stronghold and, and just what we do best. Uh, offense will come second once we get stops. Hey, David, from Saturday against West Virginia to tonight, what changes were made to contribute to the big win you guys had and going forward? Uh, we know this, uh, we said it was a non-negotiable game, you know, all same thing with West Virginia, but we really just, you know, we're back home. We have to make sure we get these wins, plays a team, lock into our chemistry, knowing each other's strong suits, and um, just, like I said, uh, protecting the house. Hey, David, I think after tonight, there's six regular season games left. How important are the next three for you guys? Obviously, you have um, Iowa State and then Iowa State again and K-State. Uh, Coach just talked about it with us in the locker room. These uh, next three or next two to three games are definitely dire and it's big for us. Uh, we approach them as if it's uh, the biggest game that we could play, the most important uh, this season. So we're going to play it to our fullest, you know, play with a uh, full heart. Hey, David, Marcus had a good game on offense today. Um, I guess, what does it mean for you guys as a team when Marcus is able to, I guess, find his offense during game? Uh, it's definitely encouraging. Marcus is definitely a facilitator, and he can score. So when he scores, it, uh, it makes them pressure up on him, of course, which opens up other opportunities for people to score. But once he gets in the flow, he helps others uh, get into a groove as well. So he's a great leader, great uh, point guard, great floor general. Dave, what did it mean to win after not being ranked? Um, you beat a ranked team decisively. Was the team fired up because of that? Of course. Um, not only is it a ranked team, but we're just, you know, happy to win in general. You know, wins are always something to celebrate. So we're happy that we uh, did better on defense as uh, before. Uh, we're also happy that we really just locked down. We talked to each other. We communicated through problems and got through it. Hey Dave, can you just describe the, the, the difference in, in the way you feel when you've got it going and, and you find your groove like you talked about in the second half? I mean, it, it looks like you're a lot more decisive and, and, and more strong with your moves and things like that. Can, can you just describe your, your vibe and how you feel when you get into that kind of flow? Uh, in a sense, it's, it's kind of like effortless, to be honest with you. Um, you know, as it 
uh, as with everything, you get into a groove and everything's become second nature. You no longer need to think. It just becomes instinctive, uh, it becomes an act. You know, however man plays you, you can kind of sense what he's going to do before because you're setting him up for whatever move uh, that you have in your hand or ever having your head. So effortless second nature is just, uh, like I said, I can't say it any other way. It's effortless. Feels sure. like have, you, have you spent much time thinking about how you can, you can get there right out of the gate? And, and have you talked with your coaches about that? Or is that something that just has to come in the cor- over the course of the game? Uh, right now, something that comes over the course of the game, but definitely working on a way to just kind of get into that groove sooner. Uh, in order to put uh, a paint presence in immediately. Anything Great, thanks. Thanks. Anything else for David? Thanks, David. Thank you. Thank you.